Well, hello everybody! If you're like me, this last couple of years you got yourself a black GPU, but you built a white computer. And you wanted a white GPU to build with your computer. So today I'm going to show you how to go from a black graphics card to a white graphics card. And even to do some custom paint on your PC. <clears throat> Let's get into it. So here we are with the original GPU. First step of this entire process, anything you want to paint, you need to clean. When you're disassembling, remember what you're disassembling, where you got it from. Generally, to take apart a GPU, you need to take the back plate of the GPU cooler off, which is that big X. There's probably a couple stickers on the screws to stop you from getting to them. Those are the warranty stickers. If those stickers are taken off, your graphics card manufacturer will not honor their warranties anymore because you've taken apart the graphics card. So be warned about that. <clears throat> When you're taking these apart, it's very important to remember everything you took out, where it came from, how it goes together. You'll see that I didn't start with the back plate, and I'm taking out a bunch of other screws, and that's because I wanted to spend as little time with the GPU actually exposed. So I wanted to be able to take as much off as I could, then take it apart and slap the cooler and the actual PCB back together while they waited for me to finish painting the shroud and the back plate. But <clears throat> however you want to do it, if you have a more secure environment, you'll be able to do whatever you need to do. So just remember that when you're watching me here, this metal is pretty rough anyway. It's got a pretty rough coat of paint on it. It's not very smooth. Um, smooth being a relative term here. This is where we're taking apart the back plate and the, see? Now the whole thing came apart once you took off the, uh, the cooler there. So, <clears throat> but you gotta remember to be careful too when you're taking these apart. Remember where every screw goes, every single one of them. I don't care if you gotta take pictures, record them, make little cups and write where that came from on the cup and put them in the cups, don't lose them. Right here we're taking apart the back plate that was held together by a single, single heating pad that was not actually on top of everything it was supposed to be on top of. So we were able to replace that differently when we were done. I'm taking the fans out of the fan shroud. My friend here is taking the stickers off of the back plate. So you're going to want to take off any stickers that you don't want unless you want to paint around the stickers. Then you can tape and paint and then take the tape off afterwards. Um, basically the plastic and the metal are pretty rough here. We're not going to sand anything. Here we are making some basically... A block so that we don't paint the wires on the fans. This is the first coat of primer or rather the only coat of primer that we're doing on the back plate. So we're doing a enamel primer and this is us going straight to our enamel paint on the plastic fan shroud. If this is a piece of plastic that was going to get handled a lot I might have gone a different route but it should just be in the computer. Here we've made some uh, stencils and made our stripes on our PC case components. This is with no primer or anything. It's a very rough paint job, so we're hoping that this uh, lacquer finish will be just fine on it. It looks pretty good a couple days later. So that is the first coat of paint on the fan shroud. This is the first coat of paint on the fans. And here is the first or only coat of primer on the back plate. And we're going to come back two hours later. Here is that fan shroud again with the tape off of the Radeon spot. We're going to go ahead and put the first coat of paint, the white enamel paint, on the back plate. This is a thing that gets hot and it's metal, so make sure you use enamel. Anything else is not going to last or stand up to the test of time. I had to bring this back a couple times. Every time I would move it, I'd find out I had an edge that wasn't covered completely. So you want to make sure that you got everything pretty good. Don't make any goopy spots. You gotta be willing to go slow and be careful. This is two hours between sessions right now too. And now here we are doing some of the fans. So it's the second coat on the fans. Yep, look at that. There's actually still the uh, protectant on the middle sticker. So we're gonna rip that off later. And that is the fan shroud getting its second coat of enamel paint with tape over the uh, sapphire logo. And see, you wanna remove tape on anything that's gonna have a surface that can damage it. So never leave tape 
if, unless you want to damage the paint when you're done and you take the tape off. Remove the tape while the paint is wet. And I had to do this a couple times, get it from different angles. I'm getting pretty low on paint here myself. I didn't realize how much we'd really go through. But we were going from a black to a white, so I should have expected to go through a bit. Now here we are, we've gotten some stencils made to decal the back plate. You gotta be very careful with this part. It's very easy to get overspray if you don't do your stencils right. Also, you'll notice we did this all on a big cardboard box to help us not paint our room that we're in. Make sure it's well ventilated, you wear a mask or anything else, depending on the size of the room. But remember, you gotta take that tape off immediately. If you don't take it off immediately, you're gonna have issues <clears throat> for any of the lines you decide to make. So this is right after it was done. I think it looks pretty good. You know, I was excited about it. And here we are about to do the same thing to the fan shroud. In retrospect, I wish I had made the lines made up, but I really don't care. If I was doing it for a customer or something, you know, if I was doing this professionally, I'd go out of my way to do it differently, but this is just for me. I think it's pretty. I like it. It's better than what it was. Look at that, huh? So now we gotta leave this for a little bit. We did have an incident here where we tried to do it too soon based on the can's recommendation and we smeared some of that paint. We had to repaint the stripes twice to do some over and there's still some touch-up work to do, but we've gone ahead and we've put it on top of a couple boxes here to keep the purple from touching anything. So I'm trying to do as best I can to not mess up any of that coolant or any of the heat, any of the heat paste on that GPU in the middle. Don't want to mess up any on that die. So here we are getting this put back together as gingerly as possible. The enamel should be perfect already. It's the lacquer that I used on the lines that was giving me issues. Even though I waited as long as the can said, but it still hadn't firmed up enough. <clears throat> so you just gotta be gentle with it, get the thing put back together, and here are the finished results, everybody. Isn't that just gorgeous? Let's take it back over to the PC. Here we are on boot up. I would pretend this was the first time booting up without a problem, but I did have a single wire just a little bit out of a harness that interrupted one of the fans. So here we are, look at this. We're gonna go over to the monitor, we're gonna check that we get, uh, there we are. It booted, it gave us a video out. Here I am, look at me, I am so proud of this right now. I'm like, look at it started, we must have put it back together right. Like that was ever not an option. But you know, I think it's beautiful, I think it's great. If you want a white GPU and you're willing to, you know, destroy your manufacturer warranty and you have the skills or the capability of doing this, I think it looks great. 1010 recommend. My um, temperatures haven't been any better or worse afterwards, even though I did replace one of the heat pads into a different spot because it was not done accurately by the manufacturer. So thank you for coming out today. I hope you enjoyed getting this uh, white GPU and some custom paint on this part one. We do have a part two coming when we actually do some uh, artwork on the GPU to put our Raven on there. So y'all take care, have a great day, and let me uh, know if you've ever modded your GPU or not. And y'all take care.